Hey everyone, this is Teal Blue with the reviews coming at you tonight to talk about The Best Man, the final chapters trailer on Peacock. It looks great. The trailer is awesome. Let's take a look at it and let's talk about it right now. None of us are the same people we were 20 years ago. Being in successful relationships takes work. None of us ever stop growing or evolving. RP, Hollywood has come a calling. They want to make unfinished business into a movie. Say what now? Get your popcorn ready. That book caused a lot of drama. You talked to Lance yet? I'm gonna. Tell him now. Oi, ah. Uh, what's up, Lance? I would hug you, but uh, not with that on the loose. Oh, yeah, my bad. I'm glad that no one was around chronicling my college exploits. It's like when you were a stripper. That was a very small part of mommy's undergraduate experience. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So we have the original OG gang from 1999's cult classic, The Best Man, 2013's The Best Man Holiday. And now we've got the final chapters. This was produced and directed by Malcolm D. Lee. We've got some other uh, producers on there as well. Um, and we've got all the same OG crew. We've got Morris Chestnut, Melissa D'Souza, Terrence Howard, Regina Hall, Nia Long, Sanaa Lathan, Harold Perrineau. And of course, we've got Tay Diggs a.k.a. Harper Stewart, a.k.a. Messy Harper, a.k.a. always in the middle of some stuff because of he couldn't just keep things to himself, Harper. And it looks like things have really turned out well for him. Looks like he's looking very well, like he's making good money, doing well for himself. I guess the 2013 assistance from his best friend turned enemy, turned friend all over again with the death of Mia Morgan Sullivan, RIP, um, his buddy, Lance, they're back together. Maybe um, with the book sales and everything that he did um, with family, faith, and football, he was able to make some good money and do well for himself. And now he looks pretty good. And now he's got a new dilemma coming up. And you know when it comes to Harper, it is always about the dilemmas. This is typical Harper Stewart storyline written all over it. Now he's got an agent that's coming to him about his book, Unfinished Business, the, the book that got him in trouble in the first place, that book that he exposed all of his dirty little secrets while making innuendos about all the things in his past and just switching up the names and getting beat the hell down. And there you have it. And now they want to turn this book that was so successful at the time that caused him so much grief into a movie. No, man, no. Now that we know kind of what's going to happen, we basically see that it's another situation that's always going to be a, a peculiar situation. In the first movie, he wrote a book, Unfinished Business, which was published, did very well. He even was getting invited on, on shows like Oprah. It did very well, but it cost him his friendship with Lance. He was able to redeem himself to, to an extent, even though he did something else underhanded, trying to do a book to provide a level of success as he was financially struggling with a baby on the way as well. And now we run in ourselves into a similar situation where he is running, um, doing very well for himself, and he has the opportunity of a lifetime. A movie's about to come out based on the book, and all he needs to do is talk to Lance and talk to everyone else, and it should be just fine. But he's gonna open up old wounds, and we know that. My back is against the wall. This is not a test. It's the real deal. Help me. Help me, nigga. Help me. You know, and with the loss and death of Mia Morgan Sullivan, RIP again, um, I'm sure that that's going to open up some wounds. It's going to rehat. It's going to just release some old feelings and tensions and different issues. And this is just typical Harper. This is just a walk in the park for Harper. This is something that he's used to doing all the time. We have all the usual suspects. And after two movies, we kind of know how these characters are going to react in certain ways. You have the, the trifecta, who I like to call the main 
three people of the film. It's always going to be Neil Long who plays Jordan. We've also got Morris Chestnut who's going to play Lance, who's always going to be this relationship tie-in with Harper Stewart, also played by Tay Diggs. It's going to be those three. They're going to be the catalysts for the rest of the series. Then you've got the other three. And then you've got Harold Perrineau, who plays Merch. His wife, Candace, who's played by Regina Hall. And then you've also got Shelby, who's played by Melissa D'Souza. They, call, they are the drama uh, people, the drama uh, trilogy or the trifecta on that side. Shelby is someone who's all for the drama, the shenanigans. She just just can't get enough of the attention and drama. And you just see it in the trailer. You just know she's about to do something crazy. You ever see Lock Up Abroad? Mm. They gonna lock abroad up. <laughs> she's about to do something that's gonna be completely eye-catching and energetic. Then you finally have Terrence Howard, who's always the wild card. But he's the one person in the whole group that can call Harper on his BS. Every time, every movie, he just sees through Harper like he, like he's a, like it's a book. He sees him better than anyone on the show and or the movie and everyone sees um uh, sees one thing and then Terrence sees another and then he catches him at the end and you know, it it is what it is. That's what's happening right now. You've got um of course Robin. I think that we have ourselves a series everyone. So I think that this is great. I can't wait. I'm looking forward to it. I'm all for the shenanigans. I can't wait to see what stupidity comes out of Harper's mouth when he tries to sneak his way into something that's going to involve Lance and bringing back the past, which is going to open up those old wounds, cause some drama, and just bring a lot of tension and stress into this uh, re rehashed and rebuilt friendship. It's just going, and it's the final chapter, so at this point, something's bound to uh, either unfold. Either they're going to find some peace and be good, or it's just going to be an issue moving forward, and that is it. Because this is, based on everything that's been said from Malcolm Lee and some of the other cast members, this is the last thing. This is the last show right here. This is it. So, I'm excited for it, and I hope you guys are too. I'll be keeping you up to date on this. As usual, thank you so much for watching the show. If you like this uh, trailer, please hit the like button. Feel free to comment. Um, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell because I'll be having videos up for new series that are coming out. We've got other series that I'll be talking about like Manifest, which is going to be premiering on Netflix this weekend, November the 4th, and to which I'll be talking a lot about some of the things that are going to be coming out there. Next week is... Uh, Wakanda week and I will be doing some breakdowns of the trailer of Black Panther Wakanda Forever the sequel RP chat with Boseman we'll be talking about that as well and we'll be talking about other series that are coming out as well but thank you so much for watching you guys have a good night and take care peace